Okay. Part one is the framework. I value justice. Racism builds walls and exclusion controls how bodies can interact with other bodies. Mendieta 04. Racism is a form of spatial education. We should enforce how subjects may interact with other subjects. Race experience spatially. Racism about how one cannot be in one body. Race about space and body men and building walls exclusion. Technology of seduction. Race practice subjugates subjects to legislation for your flesh. And particularism is good. Root cause claims to focus on overarching structures. Ignore application of material injustice. Papa 16. Practice devoted to distinguishing the upper theories to starting points of injustice at large. This seems those often can only be accomplished in critique of modernity. Primers not design, not designing the importance of power structures. We must study history, but seek present evidence of the way to task. Primers are designing a particular situation, not a global sociology. Concepts like white supremacy and colonialism, which was familiar, with particular injustices. The force of cause today knowledge should bear. There's no single causal explanation. Principles are caused by one of provisions. Thus, the standard is reducing institutionalized racism. Part two is speech codes. Speech codes are failed policies founded on good intentions, but the naivety of speech codes is that they rest their faith in institutions that are inherently anti-black. Gates 94. If racist speech were universally objective, ordinances would be incurrent. It's an assumption that over racists are unpopular members. Authorities like to decide with us against them. Why would you trust authority with the large powers of regulating speech of unpopular members unless you were confident that minorities would race not blacks? The task of confidence of critical race theory and anti racism confess enables its criticism of neutral principles. Colleagues of color need to institution that works with the work which is behind them. The contemporary is not to resist power, but to enlist power. Thus, the anti-black implementation of speech codes manifests itself in several ways. A. Evidence shows that minorities get persecuted, not white people. Great Britain's censorship in the Michigan speech code proves. Straws in 90. There's no persuasive psychological evidence and punishment for name calling changes after psychological studies show that censorship becomes more appealing by virtue of censorship. Nor is there any empirical evidence that censorship is effective to counter racism. Laws that the race speech may undermine combating racism. Discretion of laws resting prosecutors as other individuals. Among the first individuals prosecuted under the British Racial Relations Act of 1965 were black power leaders. Scripture laws that were used to regularly curb the speech of black trade unionists and anti nuclear activists. History shows that anti nuclear laws were regularly used to oppress minorities. The fighting words doctrine are particularly valuable to the speech of racial minorities. The general lesson that rules banning hate should be used to punish minority members is proven to in the specific context of campus speech regulations. The New York Times Journal was more than 20 cases of white charging black mistakes for racist speech. And? Reverse enforcement is especially likely in the case of black youth. Their activism is perceived as hostile and militant, more likely to be classified as fighting words. Only the aftermath's white fragility can silence in black protest. Caleros 95. The paternalist objection that anti racism rules will end up hurting minor minorities will have more subject substance than Delgado needs to judge. Precious best based on race relations, offending white readers. A campus policy that prohibited race speech would have bottled up emerging African American speakers. The student union got reported to San Francisco State University, or local artists paid the student union building. The promote depicted Malcolm X, the words African blood students are to express a legitimate political message as a representation of Malcolm X's early views. On order, the university residents were first painted over the mural. B. Policing hate speech can scrub out racism at roots. Rather, it exacerbates racial tensions, creates backlash, and makes racism harder to grapple with by driving it underground. We should let the true racist speak so that we know who they are. Heron 94. Speech codes serve to exacerbate tensions on campus. Dominant groups consider codes to be bridging between expression. Make sure that we accept and censoring expression makes attention more attractive. This leads to increased use. University speech codes conceal and exacerbate the problem by masking the causes of hate speech. Expression codes conceal the real problems. So, speech regulation uh, may rules may force members to act more probably when other members are watching. However, they will not change true feelings. Force campus members need revelation to disguise that. Speakers must understand that under one of the pressures of speech codes will shrink from exhibiting their feelings. Suppression of bigotry, which leads to hate speech, drives the ideas underground and therefore unchallenged by the university. <coughs> may surface trends and sense of agreement and create martyrs. Those driven underground attract new followers by holding themselves to be an oppressed minority. Speech codes are so powerful that they are banned. Keep the problem in public spotlight. And they will never talking about surfaces. People harassment may be underlying forms of prejudice on an idol. See? Speech codes glorify white supremacists by hitting them across to hang themselves on by pitting them against government censorship. Strauss in 90. Censorship measures to glorify racist speakers. Rest of the other racist speakers receiving publicity. Psychological studies are the winner of the government censor speech, but censorship for that very reason becomes more appealing. Applicants and agency regulations do not seem to realize that attempts to suppress speech increase public interest. And? White nationalist Richard Spencer proves in a speech at Texas A&M, he said he knew he was going to leave a persecuted life and arrest his arrest on returning into white supremacist hero that spreads the movement. Gallon 14. Spencer spent three days in Budapest jail. Taylor compared the Spencer's Budapest emails to MLK's letter from a Birmingham jail. They sued themselves to rebels fighting corrupt systems. Spencer was converted to sell the websites through his nationalist group. Spencer instantly became a hero. His arrest would have done more to help the American white supremacists than after Europe's power records and anything else. Part three is let them talk. My advocacy is that public colleges and universities in the United States ought not restrict any constitutionally protected speech. Silencing racist describes our movement underground and makes them look like heroes. Rather than words of Henry Louis Gates, we should let them talk. Several benefits. A. If we let racists talk now, it threatens similar protections for marginalized groups in the future. The ACLU and Scopey Hearings proofs. Gates 94. Legal practice group voice series converge their affirmation of balance approach towards the men and accept the of Scopey School of Jurisprudence. When the ACLU defended the rights of the neo-Nazi Mark and Scopey, where a number of Holocaust survivors lived, they wished to fortify this constitutional right. If this liberty can be upheld in so odious and exercise of it, precedent will strengthen it for all the less obnoxious cases. Hard cases, hard laws. The organization is winning First Amendment defense of racist fathers. Turn yellow, or the 14th Amendment freedom. The ACLU to use the landmark decision to defend the free speech rights of civil rights protesters in the 60s and 70s. Such cases provide good, a good prime fashion reason to think that there's a uh, pattern of education. B. Historically, free speech has been far more important for racial equality movements than hate speech regulation. That would be, that's what we need to focus on protecting. Strauss in 90. Racial minorities have far more loose and gained through weakened free speech guarantees. 
I know it's been among the chief bearing fishes of vigorous to reduce safe service, safeguard. Political opportunity judicial defense of free speech is also based on non dispensers that stifle the voice of oppressed persons more often than oppressors. The rights movement activated on free speech principles. Only strong principles of free speech obstruct the drive for desegregation. The Birmingham Parade Ordinance decay and other demonstrations are violated, eventually we secured unconstitutional invasion of their free speech rights. See? Letting racists expose themselves allows for counter speech, which spurs reform and activism. Grassroots movements unite under counter speech and expose moral bankruptcy. Only public engagement empowers communities and constructs active solutions. Polaris 95. Free speech can be instrumental in form and expressing ignorance. Counter speech exposes moral bankruptcy, demonstrates sense of the and spurs community to take collective action. Multicultural education became a theme of public rally. Responses to help self reliance and activism. Speech inspired community response and empowerment. Effective education on several occasions. Targets were supported by community united against bigotry. Counter speech when contrary to national audiences. And? The race-specific speech tools will get co-opted and turned into useless paradox. Gates 94. The content-specific approach can never be conscious of enough. The test of membership historically press group is either too narrow or too broad. Or poor authors historically press or dominant members. Those two authors historically press because of in Chicago are rain for going up in a dump hole. Gadgets of culture historically press group in Chicago will be plentiful. And, while we're at it, right, which white donors hate censorship culture and the app would make them donate more? Well, you're 16. Many alumni decrease support where censorship is taking place. Backlash from an online is the aftershock of campus disruptions. This by reputation of tactics used by administrators. Administrators have been too meek in trusting protesters who fly in the face of free speech. Among colleges, 64% were behind in donors. Generally, alumni generally endorse free speech. And, hate speech is increasing on campuses now. Multiple instances prove that only the app solves. Yan and all 16. Fears of heightened bigotry and hate turned into reality for Trump's win. 867 cases of hate harassment everywhere in schools. Violence is spewing everywhere. At universities, campuses are not immune to bigotry. San Diego State student was confronted by two men who made comments about Trump's email cells. College of New York photos posted students posted photos of all backed all hanging from a rod. Thus I firm, open for cross section. Uh, before we start cross section, is there anything not in the app that you did read? No. Nope. Anything in, in the app that you did not read? No. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, last card, the second last card. Uh, this is a link turn to the endowments to said. You have not read an impact for why. Uh, endowments are necessarily key to reducing institutionalized racism. I want you to concede that if I do not read the endowments to said, you cannot attach an impact to it in the way of. I mean, I'll go for it as a link turn if it like links to any of your specific arguments. That they to clarify, you don't have an impact of it in the one I see, correct? I mean, the implication is that rich white donors donate more and that colleges Where's are more Where's the impact to donation? Wait, where does the evidence that say donations make colleges more well-off? It says that they're currently behind in donors. Where does it say, my, my question was, where does it say that donations will make them more well-off? Okay, the second line in the card says, backlash from alumni is aftershock of campus. It's not activism. answering my this question. That's fine. Uh, separate question, Yen 16. Mm -hmm. You say that hate speech increasing on campuses right now, uh, and that multiple incidents prove that the app stalls. What are the instances that your evidence science highlights? Okay, well, first of all, it's talking about an incident at NYU where um, Muslim students discovered like Trump's name written on um, like a door to a prayer room that they had. Um, it's also talking about instances at San, uh, San Diego State University, ASU, um, a college in West New York State. It's listing several examples that happened. Where does it say that uh, movements were generated by free speech? This argument isn't about free speech. It's just the reasons why in the status quo, um, bigotry is uh, proliferating everywhere. Wait, so, so this very, evidence very makes a now. uniqueness evidence? So this makes a uniqueness claim about hate speech is increasing now, right? Yes. There are uh, speech codes now. But there is no solvency now. argument. There's no solvency argument in the last card, correct? What are you talking about? Like, there's no reason for why free speech has been able to solve in each of those instances. Is this the reason why the status quo doesn't solve? Sure. Is this why the app is unique? So, no, uh, sure, that's fine. Um, the framework arguments. You say racism builds on the walls of exclusion. How do we explain to racist white people why they're doing something wrong? Um, well, one of the ways that, that, that this could happen through could be the counter speech that we say. No, my question is about your framework. Uh, the yeah. ethic that you present, you say we should just automatically reject racism. Yes, I agree, it's bad, but how do we explain it to every single person uh, why it's oh, necessarily bad? It's not a bad. question of explaining through every single person whether or not racism is bad, because obviously it's going to be very hard to convince like white supremacists to stop being racist. It's a question of how we orient ourselves uh, that's and, fine. and provide the best mechanisms okay, that's for fine. people to deal with instances of racism. Uh, the first piece of Gates 94 evidence, you say sure. speech codes rest within the faith of the institutions. Who is the actor of the one ac Public colleges and universities. Uh, ally, why don't you rest in the faith of their? Because we're not having them. the institutions implement a certain policy. You are asking them to, to take a policy. A policy. Uh, yeah. You're asking them to do That's a policy. That's not the argument. That seems to rest faith within institutions when you ask them it's to do a policy. It's not resting faith in an institution. We're not asking them to do a policy. That we're seems contradictory. Them to get speech uh, codes. That's fine. The argument is that institutions separate question. Will always be anti-black. It's a question, question of how we orient ourselves within them. I have a separate question. Sure. Uh, let's go to the Calorus 95 evidence. Which one? Uh, second one. You say that it causes grassroots movements. Mm -hmm. um, the evidence talks about ASU and it talks about Stanford University. Mm -hmm. Where does it say that these grassroots movements have actually led to uh, changes in terms of their culture? Well, the last line of the card indicates that counter speech wins converts from national audiences. I, they were yeah, my question was about in the context of the cards to empirics. Uh, has, how does your empirics This is in the context of those empirics. It's talking about results of those coalitions that were built as a result of people like, facing instances of racism. Okay. Are we counting um, sending the doc as prep time? Yes. Uh, 
Doc Smith said three for three. Three off case. And then you guys both call it clear and slow, right? Tell me when everyone's good. And then um, on the case, it's just going to be very clear uh, side posting in terms of which card it responds to. Uh, we'll start at the first at the bottom two cards on the case, though. Wait, how do I that again? So three off, then the two cards at the bottom of the case that are new that were not disclosed in, uh, on the wiki. And then we will go to the. Um, case proper and we'll go back to the top of the case it'll be very clear everyone good mm -hmm. everyone have the doc mm -hmm. okay the value is bounty, the standards maximize the 14 special pleasure, moral realism is true, pain of pleasure, are the only intrinsic value, great, oh, nine, pieces, 30 value, wins, very serious, penis, essential, friendly, penis, uh, feels bad, man, very serious, fit, of fascinating, words, useful, then we will describe the neural algorithm, skips, and then never speaks bad, and moral certainty between default and perfection, shift, posture, I love the moral certainty, excessive, and you're serving, 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 and you're and you're serving, 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 and you're
Their first meeting will read evidence and cross uh, proves that they have not already impact evidence for why endowments necessarily benefit colleges not relevant to the UNC, which means it is not independent authors for them. Also, on the end of the system, the uniqueness framing argument, uh, this is going to be important. Linear will go for it for a reason why uh, HP shelter exists in Sasquatch, but arguments that HP is linear, in fact, it can always get worse, which is what the one sees thesis argument will be now. Live by on the case, first in case 94, evidence that the, oh, sorry, sorry, on the framework proper. Uh, the only way that we can explain to other people for why they all reject racism is through a lens of utilitarianism, is because it causes pain to individual, uh, individual which means that the, uh, which means that the AC framework class back to the SC, uh, and the AC framework also impact us by now. Get case substance proper, first in case 94, evidence so what does he also trust? The very same institution that he trusts that you ever using previous clothing systems in life, the after last of people, and what previous live people are not are some of the institutions. Now these straws and 90 evidence. Once straws and incorrect and purely close and remedy, so the other one is just asking the weakness of an office by his laws are like the people who use and that particular is still breakdown between that something else, something in 98 and one of the prosecutions were 22 individuals, all of whom were white, shocking lips that the corpse between the last part of the people who took the same very good chance of being on a reasonable action attack to enforcement is proportional to the crime of your levens from national institutions confirmed still dotted when you have 94 percent of the people. Is you heard my reason of the game for the letters and strength and statistics. Uh, couple of documentary and reason to be the last on campus and professional and formal history seems felt little validity. Uh, it cut the card of validity. Things like context calls for crowding out speech that's productive. It's all structural balance. Arthur, a little context that's given when the speech is acting capable. Any judge should be able to determine the uh, difference in, 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 in uh, intent and be had a little difference in 40 straws and evidence. Uh, cherry picks the human appearance. They are super progressive now and reflect with the codes. Our evidence is more recent. WT, 15 year old books in history. And two big others. Uh, what we are able to proceed at. I don't know. Has a way of hurting people in certain uh, phrases are forbidden. I first think can't give the climate now. The caliber is 95 and CC. Reverse and forth again. Black is one. The purity of the example of my own memory. Separate perceived as possible. I and African American race race racial race views or under certain different things. Balance on the drawing of Malcolm X. Two of your so just by your evidence here. Two standard activism specific engagement persons are at a health impact. Even with speech code theory. 16 universities be raised to increase in activism. Students are ready to call the game to increase the long-term diversity and diversity. And to find first movement of engagement as a revival of the service history. Student activism is being a revival. Perhaps less severe. Likely cut the card. Likely now. The now the their evidence doesn't make a comparative claim that anybody says says enforced on average was against my race rather than actual racist people. And Mr. Sisters would prove that all the device now. The hero not anymore of the CC speech so bad that's what they don't have a legitimate fear coming about that occurred at university. Uh had speech goes to the car about how case speakers won't get to rehab a point. Is that why would we oh uh, why would they want to have rebound in the first place? Is even the culture viewpoint is that there's no evidence in the app that souls rehab and choose the impact of the argument is that we will find recent movements and disband them, but the hero evidence proves that we've already known about uh, how to how to disband their movements now. The strut next piece of strut and not even the same martyrship. What is fine rightly speech that has no better to ratify still not even the anymore that he speakers on a Christmas company that was somewhat weaker and themselves in the process they are not the cheese being much better. Of the little bit of a question to your reason to cross by the per 12 and it's your two more taken out. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I'll flash this card after. Speech codes are good to the image right wing of movements of informed coalition target uh, target groups. Paragraph 12, uh, ban on speech code, dream time, and speech code on ground, persuade to moderate, uh, members of the dissociate, this makes the operations more difficult. Uh, coming on the route, uh, we, we, we can those who uh, respect what we can do to the distribute a distributable now. The next jail in 94, Evans, C.C. Spencer, uh, one give us a ticket, and it doesn't make a fair claim that the wide national desert or supporters have already been reported in the incident. Now, the next few decades in 94, Evans, C.C. civil protections increase. One no way to relate none of the evidence proves that the Skokie case from 79 has been able to generate free speech rights for matters in the future, especially when our, un when our own union is under the app, and against that case, codes can Consistently have hurt them. Uh, it also linked her to working in the situation. Cases with movements that their scope example was hurt was 79 ACLU was supported by the South Korean Christmas Memorial 2000. Uh, the more than 800 members of the Illinois ACLU was surrounding the years following following Skokie to the front Skokie. Now, the, uh, on off the next page, the calendar was 95. There's one calendar set to the day for support on our students and on our setting of the friendship as examples of Godwin 94. First, drawing resolution for the only song that calendar reached through generalized from ACU and Sanford. Campus is doing a good one on each. The normal creativity, whatever we tell racket, we must be careful of generalizing uh, from one or two experiences in which peace code. Uh, their favorite allowance. Uh, now, finally, the case 94. Evidence are currently talks about but Sue's interpretation is certainly fresh That's based on a bright line theory which fails because of the answers above uh, for why things like context solves. The answer to the first card of black theory. Uh, you just done a good doc with everything I did not read. Can you do that before class? Yep. Uh, I do reserve the right to read some of these arguments in the two and if there's like a new one or extrapolation or something.
Uh, can you also hit reply all with the new document? Yep. Let me know if you yeah. think that there are any disagreements in terms of what I know. Oh, can you just put that because I thought there was a possible question mark? Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Good? I didn't read the possible question. Alright, everyone good? Yeah. Alright, what's the status of the counterclaim? Conditional. Alright, cool. Uh, let's talk about the hedge this ad. You say that colleges are successfully limiting anti war speech now. This, you need to talk about this from 2005. How are they successfully limiting it now? Especially since we've had like several wars in which people's faith in the military has gone down. Uh, sorry, what is. Can you repeat the second part of that question? The uniqueness evidence is from 2005. What evidence do you show that they're still successfully limiting anti war speech? Uh, it's been over 10 years. I think that there are still. Are, they, these arguments still apply in terms of why they are limiting speech. Uh, How? Like, I'm not sure why. How specifically? You're... Because we fought several more wars since 2005, and people's general faith in the Yeah, country that seems to down. prove our uniqueness evidence in that people are more anti war now. That doesn't seem to prove that people are anti now. Your, your uniqueness evidence is conditioned on Wait, what wars have we fought since 2005? <laughs> Okay, well, we've gone into the Middle East and the Philippines. We've so gone into the Middle East, that's that was fine. 2005 to 2009. Yeah, this is I don't really know fun. what other that's wars we've Let's talk about the counterclaim. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's talk about the counterclaim. Yeah. Uh, you say that it creates some kind of test for balancing free speech with dignity. Uh, why is consistent? No, it balances hate. It's basically a precise test for being able to figure out what counts as hate How speech. is it a precise test? Like, what's the standards for this test in deciding what hate speech is? Uh, in that... So the Caitlin 94 evidence says that uh, it bases it on international human rights standards. The okay, ICTBR says that things like an advocate for hate speech, pro hate speech prohibition, something something that could be seen as objectively uh, objectively bad. For example, saying the so N word to a black person would be very objectively your only bad. For saying that the Holocaust does not exist wait, wait, would be an example. Your only standard uh, for determining what hate speech is a bad or whether or not it's hate speech is whether something can be considered objectively bad. Who looks on it and decides whether it's objectively bad? Uh, we would say that in this case it would be public colleges and uh, universities, so the after the counterclaim is So you're leaving it up to institutions to decide whether or not people's decisions or effects. We leave it up to progressive status quo on. institutions in order to decide not whether or not that's allowed, uh, which is exactly what the 1AC does, so I'm not sure what All right, that's agent fine. Uh, uh, let's talk about the Caitlin uh, 2 evidence. You say that the counterclaim is trying to get rid of this like Article 20 reservation. Um, how so it says that the thing that holding back, the thing that, like, that creates a contradiction. Sorry, can you repeat the second part? That's fine, just don't do the first part. Uh, so the first part of your question was that, why is like Article 20 relevant to I law? Yeah. Uh, it says that the evidence is super specific on this issue. It says that the reason that American hypocrisy is considered right now is because of this specific uh, like Article 20 reservation in that the United States does not take a, hand, a stance on hate speech. Uh, we why say is that the US if the U.S. Being a leader taking in a stance, uniquely important? If sorry. It, it, why is the U.S. being a leader in following international law uniquely important in this specific instance? The impact evidence justifies why credible U.S. commitment is necessary. The Article Twenty argument shows wait, that. Wait, this just talks uh, about it wait, your impact evidence. Just talks about how like repercussions of actions will have like global consequences. It doesn't. No, say I think that it's US specific for why multilateral team. agreements are good. It's or, not like, the agreeing it's not with specific context of ILO. Can you give me a license card that's about ILO? Multilateral agreements. Agreements increasingly have been it's a primary instrument it's employed by states to meet like extremely free. serious challenges of this kind. When a powerful state like the United States is to see to treat its legal obligations as a matter of convenience, other yeah, states I will see it as a justification. Okay,
the order is going to be case. Uh, and on case, I'll like, answer the framing debate. So case, uh, counterpoint is case. Wait, sorry, what's the order? It will be the case counterpoint against the case. question of who does better uh, comparison of the warrants within specific evidence, and i.e., if I went over severe virulent racism is much more probable than all their impacts of, of hate speech, it means that I've linked turn all their hate speech arguments because people just go underground and get more incentivized to do racist things to people and increase the amounts of hate speech. But I'll address that on the land end. First, on the framework debate, they say that my framework collapses YouTube because the only reason we know things are racism, but like things like racism are bad, is because uh, they cause pain, but that's intrinsically false. I.e., they, de de they dehumanize people, which means things like racism cause de deontic harm in the first place, which means it's a prerequisite to their framework. Also, Util's impar in attempted impartiality makes things like exclusion inevitable. Odell 4, Util turns and fails to appreciate the importance of distributed justice, satisfying the interest of the majority to end the world already, the interest of the majority to maximize general good, even though the minority group may have to suffer great difficulties, the utility to commit to maximize good in the world, the teacher to fail or take seriously, the teacher to be the person, which means my framework is a prerequisite to theirs because their framework is intrinsically allows for inclusion. Also, they say that my framework is impact justified, but it's not better because it's not impact justified because it's things like deontic harms that racism caused. That's the best part of what the Mendiana evidence talks about. Also, now I'll answer the Bostrom argument here that they made on the NC. First, infinite regress possible that we should always try to stop extinction, but that means any risk of extinction would generate an obligation to stop it at any point to become a teacher too busy trying to stop extinction to actually have moral deliberation that Bostrom conceives of word. Also, too, the first the concept of Bostrom only talks about goodness in life, but never shows that it has intrinsic value. It's only valuable because it lets it deliberate, which means we never reach value. And they have to prove that both life and attainable moral truths. Also, three, this pursues things like a racist, uh, co like a consequential stuff that are actually skip this argument. Also, three, uh, high probability always high magnitude and low probability. If we just wait based on magnitude and whoever says the standard of the that the goodness anyways can solve the problems that actually happen. And infinitely smaller probability about says a uh, linearly larger magnitude. Also, policy paralysis, Bostrom says any risk of extinction means we try to visit, but it becomes impossible to take action. Everything becomes an infinitely smaller subject, actually. Now, on the line balance, uh, first, uh, the arguments that I'm going to go for here on the app are the Heritage Strauss evidence from Part B and C. The more specific words in these parts are uh, uniquely not answered. Their, their first argument is that this argument is empirically denied because the Great Britain example is bad. Even though the Great Britain example is bad, there are still other examples from the University of Michigan, SUNY, and from the uh, ASU, which means this argument is, is decisively flows out from this specific instance. They say that my University of Michigan example is uniquely cherry picking, that the WT evidence is very, very bad on this question. It just says that it could have been biased, but that doesn't answer the words as to how ASU and uh, SUNY also experience the same trend, which means strong evidence from flows out. The argument is that we still have instances of virulent racism, which means all their defense doesn't outweigh because we outweigh on probability. It's empirically happened in the past when people think we are racist each because racist people got deterred from the speech codes and they were incentivized to go underground, which means their racism became even more virulent, which means you can cross to all their arguments that they make with the Delgado Union evidence because Strauss is specifically writing in response to Delgado Union. This is their psychological studies are actually wrong. Such a piece becomes more attractive by virtue of censorship, which takes out all their arguments about censorship to be clear cut. Also, now on the third contention, they say that there's no empirical backlash and that Australia will solve, but they say that we should look to U.S. examples only. I have the most amount of U.S. examples in this specific debate, which you can cross to Harry Evans. Also, my specific the last card, the Yan Evans takes out the Harry Evans, which means all the uniqueness claims full after this specific evidence because they say that we, we are cherry picking evidence and protests are at all, at all time high. But this is uniquely before the election. The Yan Evans is after the election. Hate speech is at all time high right now, which means if I win a risk that the one I see is, uh, is, uh, has, has a better chance of solving, that means we outweigh. Also, um, all the arguments about Gates and the counter speech arguments don't matter in the world, where the only argument I'm going for is this idea of real and racism going underground. Now, on the Nissad, or actually on the counter plan. Uh, first, permutation is a counterplan. It's not actually competitive. It just adds words before the uh, before the app. It says that the USCFG should allow to enter in full compromise, and then adds more words after the land text. It says that we should uh, like accept in the instance of hate. We should prefer textual competition over functional competition because one well, is the only way to determine fair debates is to keep the topic in stable advocacy rather than us just focusing on concessions about whether or not things were actually correct or not. Also, two, it's the most uh, fair in this specific context because it ensures that we can't shift out of our specific advocacy. Uh, also, three, perms are textual, which means it's not better for us to look at uh, things like advocacy in this uh, textual debate because it's the most fair arm down for line for debate. Functional competition just uh, begs the question of whether or not we are explaining. Things well enough in this specific argument. Also, the permutation of the after the counterplan solves the arguments because we can teach villain race in the status quo, and then we can work to get rid of things like this, which means uh, precludes the entirety of the uh, counterplan in this specific instance. Now, on the disab. First, no link. Military recruitment is low now for all causes. Wagner 16. The union rifles have been significantly less fertile in the near future. The Department of Defense may hit the roads of a more of recruiters. Military recruitment will characterize their boom and bust through entire recruiting costs. And for further link evidence, got off between 2005, which should have triggered an impact. Also, uh, more link numbers. The government misses recruitment by 50%, which means it gives things to you because don't 
always recruiting growth for the team. They're always doing like 40% for every recruits that we need to fill a frame. The difficulties of tracking down by those after duty, improving economy, shortfall, and recruiting comes to the army's planning fair for the attacks and for us, for language, which means that one of our breaks down pretty simply. We're, we outweigh on the highest amount of probability because we have the highest amount of empirical evidence in this round that provides from other campuses in the United States. All the evidence that they round teach doesn't just it doesn't specifically apply to the act. Uh, can you I didn't read from counterpoint with that down. I read everything else. Okay. Oh, and I skipped the third justification in the Bosch Okay. So number no number three. Yeah. All All right, order will be overview, power plan, hegemony descent, then the case. Uh, is there anything new? You can slow down the counter plan, but just like a breakdown.
Okay, is everyone good? After the morning, are there are a lot of different floating impacts, and you need uh, some type of filtering mechanism in order to decide which impact necessarily comes first. Uh, we will do that waiting order for you. War outweighs and turns any of their uh, any of their impacts. Uh, or also, not go for the counterpoint. Conditional, kick it. No voting issue was made out of in the one yard. Uh, so it's simply the question of the hedge just adverse case. Here's how the route breaks out. It's a question of whether or not you prefer a utilitarian standpoint of viewing through different uh, viewing through different arguments, uh, in which case you would end up voting negative, uh, or you or, or you or you buy their race arguments, in which case we will still win uh, more impacts uh, back to the one AC uh, and still outweighs it. Now uh, back to the usual framing. First framework. A lot of a lot of the one AC responses are, are a lot of the one AC responses are, are conditioned on us going for the Boston evidence, not going for the Boston evidence, but we're going for the two independent arguments that are independent. First, the extended gray evidence, which says that moral facts exist only independent. The only thing that you know about moral facts are a question whether or not they minimize pain, or whether or not they give a moral, or whether or not they uh, maximize pleasure, which means that which is that only the NC framework can provide motivations in terms of individuals to act, which means that we are a better guide for action. Nothing the one another one here uh, compares in terms of which framework necessarily comes first. Also, go extend the uh, next piece of physicalism argument, which is the Papano evidence, just says that the uh, it says that the only that we know are from the empirical world, which means that the only empirical facts that we can know are questions of pain and pleasure, uh, which means that they are the only ones that we can end up minimizing or maximizing. Now, uh, now we will respond to their three arguments on the case, uh, on the case, uh, on the NC flow. First, the Odell evidence says that a utils attempt and partially makes exclusion inevitable. One, uh, this is not unique. Any theory makes exclusion inevitable uh, because some theory prioritizes some individuals, uh, but it will always by it will always exclude individuals because every single theory uh, encounters some trade-off. Two, util is the best method in order to uh, in order to reduce the amount of people who are actually violated because they attempt to maximize the total amount of good for other individuals, which is what the, well, which means that we solve back for the framework argument better now. The number two argument and the number three argument both are both only relevant to Bostrom. They are not relevant to, they're both about uh, why stopping extinction first is necessarily bad, uh, but not, the number three argument says that uh, if you talk about the goodness of life, never shows that it has intrinsic value. Uh, yes, our argument said the intrinsic value that determines life is a question of minimizing its pain and maximizing its pleasure. Now, finally, uh, the alternate number four argument, they say high probability always have a high magnitude uh, and low probability one. They've conceded the impact, which means that it, it's definitely high probability. Uh, you, if, without any impact events, you would not end up voting there also too. Uh, magnitude definitely means that you end up, uh, uh, magnitude definitely means that you should end up, uh, 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 end up uh, preferring those type of arguments because their arguments presume that, uh, uh, their arguments presume that there's not a significant link to it. Now, the number five argument is only relevant to Boschman saying that risk fixation means that we should not do anything. Uh, this that first. Extending SW5 evidence which is that the colleges currently limit hate speech right now. Their Wagner evidence comes up with problems with it. One, it just proves that we are closer to the link right now. Uh, even if it is true that military recruitment, uh, even if military recruitment is low right now, that just means that uh, the fact that we have not passed the brink yet proves that any any action taken by the one C will simply further the impact. Also, to their evidence that it's decline in budget and bargaining position, uh, but it never it also says that these are going to happen. Their evidence is predictive, which means that uh, you take account only empirical factors because their evidence uh, does not provide historical backing for the link evidence. Now, even if uniqueness is low, it doesn't prove our impact because uh, the A point is that the fact that recruitment Low means that we have just have a recent impact. It shows that we are closer to the B point. Is that the risk of the impact may magnify the link? Uh, it shows a ton of attention. Off the broke up and say that the army is 40% of short recruitments. Three responses. One, codes can still hurt the capability for recruitment, uh, especially considering that you are conceding our link evidence. Uh, two, there are alternate causes to 40% decline. Uh, that's explained by recruitment. Two, three, this also is not specific to college recruiting. Uh, but also, four, 40% uh, decline does not disprove our impact. Uh, extending BIW evidence. Hegemony is the only way, and U.S. leadership is the only way to solve multiple scenarios for extinction. This is a conceded impact. Risk of an impact means that you end up. You prefer high magnitude impacts because a risk of everyone, per, every single person dying, is the worst form of structural violence that can possibly occur. All right, we, if we've won the link scenario and we've done won that wing, you can vote there. Now the case. The one year was way too short of responding to the prep app. Uh, you cannot concede multiple arguments against every single argue, uh, against every single card in the app and still expect to win the debate first. The uh, a lot of the one AC uh, the one AC extends there. Uh, straws in evidence saying that minorities are persecuted and that uh, the great Mich great, uh, great Mich in Michigan empirical proves they concede the Romney evidence, which indicates that straws is empirically wrong and that uh, they, they're citing uh, they're citing of the great of uh, the British Relations Act that is literally wrong. Called the card of the rat. Also extend the WT evidence. This evidence is amazing. I don't know what she's talking about. Uh, it literally says that in the Status quo, uh, University of Michigan has literally changed its policies, uh, which proves our impact. That takes out their argument that minorities get persecuted. Uh, now they extend, also extend our, uh, also extend the Perrick evidence, which is read later in the speech, which shows that speech codes are the only way to decrease right wing movement. They want to see the one year literally did not respond to this argument. It's straight up dropped, which means that it's very easy for you to vote negative. Now they extend their salty argument, saying that uh, they extend the uh, uh, we'll just respond to these. Their salty argument, they do not extend any clear card in the one year, uh, which means that you probably can't vote for. It, but anyways, we'll go through each card that they could have possibly extended first. 
mercy. Uh, the gates haven't seen that the ACLU case could have led to civil protection, uh, civil uh, liberty protections. Why there's no interlinked against because uh, we already uh, also said the Harwood Seventh which was that uh, in the case of ACLU and their Skokie case that literally led to a mar uh, that literally led to uh, more of a decrease of already uh, that led to uh, well, that led to a harder backlash and psychological violence that ended up actually hurting people, which definitely is a worse form of racism. Now they extend their calories to evidence saying that counter speech stalls, but you can see the Delgado's evidence which proves two disadvantage to calories. One, you cannot extend two empirical arguments that calories makes to every single empirical argument, which proves that your argument uh, does not necessarily work. Also, the second argument is that you force the burden onto students uh, in order to respond back instead of forcing the uh, enforcing instead of forcing hate speech restrictions back to the individual people. Uh, I'm sorry, the individual communities. Now they say the Yan evidence shows that uh, it always are hairy evidence. They say hate speech is increasing on campus right now. That is uh, just because you have an empirics of a few different campuses does not prove our argument. Our argument is that there's still a huge, uh, there's still a lot of the left is still attempting to protest a ton, which proves a large a, a ton of terminal defense against your impact, which means it's very easy for you to vote negative. Now, uh, now extending one more solvency argument, uh, sorry, extending one more impact argument for the one and see. So here's how the rivalry breaks down. There's a very clear psychological violence impact that is conceded from the one and see. You have conceded reasons for why the app cannot solve. You have conceded internal uniqueness against the app. You've also conceded reasons for why hate speed restrictions are the only way to solve. That's paragraph 12. Um, it's very easy for you to vote negative off, either off the hegemony you decide, uh, you look through a utilitarian calculus, risk of war means you end up voting negative, or any of the turns offers. If anything, call, use the cards and evidence comparison. Mm -hmm. Is everyone good? House, it goes that uh, they have under my framework is this implication of psychological violence, but the, it's a question of which way the link goes on the psychological violence argument. The two and never explicitly answers the one yard's extension of the Heron Evans, which is a damning concession for them because it indicates that the way that the hate speech link flows is affirmative because the argument is that censorship becomes uniquely more attractive in the world of the negative than compared to in the world of the affirmative because people think it's cool to go against the government, i.e., do racist things because they think that the banning makes it cool. This is explicit, this is explicitly warranted coming out of the one yard and is not responded to in the two and which means that hate speech becomes more attractive in the world of Nancy because people believe that the racist people are doing something cool. Also, the, uh, the, the only argument that they go for in the 2 as for why I can't win case arguments is this, is this uh, question of empirical data. Even if the uh, Great Britain example, the University of Michigan example, are wrong in what the, uh, the Stra uh, Strassen evidence is talking about, I'm still winning that there were other examples of ASU and SUNY, which uh, indicated that this exact in instance of virulent racism got worse because people thought that racist people were doing cool things and tried to ban on with them in instances where we banned them, i.e. the, the uh, essential war that comes out of the 1ER is completely conceded coming out of the 2NR. The reason is why the case outweighs on probability is because racism becomes more virulent and empirically proven in the past because people People think that race speech becomes more attractive because they try to join the bandwagon, i.e. they think it's cool, which means it does become glorified in the world of what I see. Their only answer, answers in the two are, are about how the status quo movement like isn't strong, but this isn't response to the thesis of the one I see, i.e. psychological evidence it proves that it, it goes up. Also, now on the third argument, they go, they try to extend ar again, arguments to the Calaris and Gates evidence, but I can see that counter speech is not going to happen in the world of what I see, which means that this evidence is the response to the thesis of the one I see that we that way on probability specific framing. Uh, but now I'll address the framework debate. Um, the framing debate comes down pretty simply. Rather, it's a it, it, regardless of whether or not it's a question of utilitarian structural violence, it's still conceded that it's a question of probability framing. I the third point in Bostrom and then the Bostrom evidence was not Bostrom uh, specific, but it, was, but it was completely conceded. I we need to look to probability framing first because even if there's large impacts, it's a question of what we should orient ourselves best to solve because that's the, that's the only way we can decide the correct gu guiding course to action. The entire NC thesis is that we need to look to course to action. The only way to do that is through probability framing. Which means as long as I win a risk of a uh, risk of reasons why the Heron evidence is uniquely true because it's conceded coming out of the tuner, it means case always on probability. But now on the dissent. Their answer to the lack of evidence makes absolutely no sense. They say that we prove that we're closer to the brink, but this argument just proves that 
there is no rig for this dissat, which means if you think that I'm winning a risk of case offense outweighing on probability, you should vote there rather than voting on this dissat. The Wagner Article 4 is specifically clear. It says that yeah, the military recruiting will be characterized by, by boom and bust, bust periods, i.e. they will always keep going up and down, which means they went down uh, like a couple years ago, which means that empirically proves that there is no rig for this argument because they went down and extinction didn't happen in the world of the negative. It also proves that we are at a low point right now, i.e. the first line of the card is completely dropped by the tuna, indicates that the new environment is likely to become significantly less fertile in the future for things like recruiting, which proves that the status quo is uniquely bad for recruiting, which means that we're not close to the rig, we're even further away from the rig that they talk about because there is no specific rig. Military recruiting is at an all-time low right now because the budget is specifically low. This warrant is not specifically responded to. To the round time, put it simply, they're not winning a risk of the extinction, even if you buy their magnitude framing. This argument is completely unresponded to because their response to Wagner makes absolutely no sense. I won that there is absolutely no rig. So if you buy a risk of the hair and probability framing because the warrant says why I have empirical evidence and if the censorship becomes cool by nature of expression is completely conceded out of coming out of the tunar, then you should vote up under either framing. It's a question of probability first.